Hello, and welcome to HLWW's second installment of Short Story Quickies with me, Caitlin McShay. Today we are talking all about plot. During our first installment of Short Story Quickies, we talked about and touched on plot a little bit. And we talked about how the basic plot structure has exposition, our inciting incident, our rising action, the climax, and the falling action. But today, we are talking about different plot structures. Today we are focusing all about the shapes of stories as touted by Kurt Vonnegut in his failed thesis for his master's in anthropology. Uh, he actually said there are shapes of stories and we're going to go through them and all of these images are by Maya Elam and thank you so much. We pulled those from your journal article so that we can talk about them here today with you guys. Our first plot structure is called the Cinderella or New Testament plot structure where a character is given more and more incremental gifts by a deity of some kind and at some point they're ousted from good standing but then at the end of the story they have out of the world bliss. So an example of this um, besides uh, as Kurt Vonnegut said in his mind was the New Testament uh, great Expectations is an example of the Cinderella plotline. Our next plot structure is called Boy Gets Girl, and it's probably one of the most famous plot structures. Um, it starts with a character coming across something, they get it, they lose it, and then they get it again for, uh, forever. So an example of this is Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind and Jane Eyre. This next plot structure is called Man in Hole. So a character gets into trouble, and then when they get out of it, they actually end up being better off than they were before. And an example of a movie of this is Harold and Kumar go to White Castle, or a book is Arsenic and Old Lace. One of my favorite plot structures to talk about, but not to read or write, is From Bad to Worse, or the Kafka story structure. Um, and as you can imagine, it starts off with a main character in a pretty poorly situation, and then it only gets worse. So of course, Metamorphosis is an example of this, and also the Twilight Zone could be an example. This next story structure is called the Hamlet story structure. It's really similar to Boy Meets Girl. However, the genders are reversed, and in this story structure, there's really no plot arc. It reveals the truth of life, but the main character is really neither in a better off position or in a worse off position. And so our example is of course Hamlet. So in conclusion, those are the most popularized story structures. We could always add more, but those are the most common. I hope you learned a little bit of something today. Uh, feel free to reach out if you have any questions. 